I'd like to introduce you to Alicia Choi. Alicia is a, uh, an economist, but she's also a data, data analyst. We've asked Alicia to give us some ideas on what Australia is thinking about Aboriginal issues. And so through that data analysis, it gives us a bit of an idea how and what we should be targeting in terms of information to get to the population in Australia. So 50 years on from the establishment of the Aboriginal Tent Embassy here in Canberra, where is Australian society today? Have you progressed in a substantive way? Does Australian society care? And so I'm going to take you through how I have come up with my answer on what does Australia think and feel about First Nations. And so what I mean by that is we must understand what white Australia thinks and feels about First Nations. When I grew up in Australia, and I'm a product of the Australian education system, I never learned anything about First Nations people or Aboriginal culture. You think there's a whole population of people like me that have absolutely no ground foundation in knowledge and awareness of these issues. So again, when I continue on, I'm looking at stolen generations, passive, mild colours. I look at this and go, there's nothing in here. First Nations and native title, again, nothing in here. Then you look at Aboriginal land rights, again, pale, nothing here, moving on, right? This is the state of where we are now.